you have my coffee? <laughs> a.m. in the light. So bright. I'm Nikki, this is Jason, and this is Curiosity, our home and the driving force behind our thirst for exploration and discovery, literally and philosophically. We believe curiosity is the key to unlocking life. It's what pushes us outside our comfort zone, softens our assumptions, and helps us embrace the great unknown. This week, that comes in the form of getting our group back. Because, well, we've all got some sort of routine that keeps us grounded, and, well, we don't have one anymore. And I think we can all agree that 2020 packed more than its fair share of punches. But we're finally back home, on the water, and slowly finding our routine. Mo shade over here. Been a long while. For me, it feels oddly like as if we never left, kind of as like 50% of me, and then the other 50% feels a slight bit discombobulated, as if like I don't know quite what to do with myself every day. Yeah, it's gonna take a while to ease into boat life again because it's just a different world than we've been living in the past year and a half. Yeah, well, and then, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, there you go. That says That's it, it right there. Yep. <laughs> no wonder it's not like, just like, <laughs> it's been a year and a half. <laughs> it's just, there's so many things, especially because we were gone for so long and the boat just needs, like it's gotten so much better, but there's still so much, to, and there's always so much to do. It's just a never ending thing, which is totally okay. But now all of a sudden we're trying to incorporate some actual life yeah. beyond boat projects. Yeah, and in this video we thought, why not share what a typical, sort of typical-ish day looks like sometimes? What it's gonna look like? Maybe, <laughs> hopefully. We're not fully sure yet, <laughs> but we think this is how the, the non-filming, non-adventure, just on the boat days yeah. go. Fish. Breakfast. Potato egg cheese burritos that are very heavy on the potato. We like to start off with a big breakfast because then it gets really hot and eating a hot meal on a hot day. So lunches tend to be a little bit lighter and cooler and Breakfast tend to be heavy. Yummy. Yeah. It's already hot. Yeah. You have to take the shirt off. Yeah. Goals for today. Eat breakfast. <laughs> oh. That's it. Look at that. Press bond podcast. Hmm. What are we gonna accomplish today? Yeah. I know well, one right. thing. I'm not right. I know one thing. We're definitely gonna go for a swim because I'm already swimming. <laughs> swimming in your own sweat. <laughs> oh. oh, geez. Okay, so I know I need to get out of hard drive hell. And I definitely need to tackle some of the rust. Stainless steel. Crack the coconuts. Yeah, off. We need to do the coconuts. Maybe grab our grab big list. list. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ooh, I should do the water tanks. Okay, that's all like major stuff. What about the port light, the gaskets and the windows? Yeah, I'll put that like down here because that's like if it's not raining and I get around to it, that would be great. Okay. And probably the number one thing would be installing the air con so we can run it since we're getting <laughs> tons of sun. We're that's, almost at 100% yeah, by the midday. Yeah, that's very true. Um, but it's a big project. It's a, Yeah, I don't want to do everything today, but we can definitely check the seizing wire on the bridle. Yeah, that's more than we can do in a day already. So, All right. and we're gonna swim. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. We'll just start with that. Okay. Dishes. So, Didn't put that on the list. That's a given. What's that for? Uh, since the generator's broken, we don't have the water maker working. And I'm using salt water to do the first wash on the dishes and just using like a light fresh water rinse. We're trying to conserve fresh water as much as possible. 
Jeez. Okay. Starting to sprinkle again. Third time this morning. Second time. but it's definitely the worst we've ever seen this wheel and it's just because it's up for so long normally I would be more on top of the ongoing cleaning and polishing I've got just a soft cloth and a baking soda baking soda baking soda are you British <laughs> oh, <yeah>. soda <laughs> baking soda baking soda and water paste which I'll use to scrub off the rust. And then for a little shine and protection, I'm gonna use my McLube because, well, that's really the only thing I've got right now that works for stainless, but I also just find that it works pretty well on almost everything on a boat. So it's kind of a one and all product. And it is, well, so it says eco-friendly, uh, citrus-based cleaner, polish, whatever. Okay, why do I have so many hard drives? Well, when we left the boat here in Tonga, I had 2018 and part of 2019. And then I put 2019 on another drive so I could take it with me and I left the old 2019 drive here. Then I got end of 2019, early 2020, ran out of drive space, bought a couple more drives. So I literally have like six drives for a couple years that are all half full and miscellaneous stuff on each one based on where we were in our crazy year. While the computer's doing its thing, I'm gonna fill up the water. how well the baking soda works. Never underestimate the power of baking soda. <laughs> you a toothbrush over there? Yeah. Good thing about the baking soda is that if you accidentally leave a little behind it's not a big deal. Yeah, if it falls in the water it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, exactly. Didn't take too long with the both of us. Yeah. Have it done in an hour or two? Maybe? Maybe, yeah. Well, I mean, just the lifelines. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, there you go. Not the dinghy davits and all that stuff. Oh yeah, this is pretty good. Starboard side. It's done. Woohoo! Smoothie time! Woohoo! <laughs> Do you want to get stuff out of the freezer? Yeah. Okay. Speaking um, of freezer, yes, our fridge and freezer is still a, a no-go. Yes. We can't do anything about it till we get to a mainland. But this guy has been doing well, staying strong. Freezing hard. Is that what you would say? It's freezing hard. Yeah. 93.1% on the batteries. You think we'll get to 100% today if the sun stays? If the sun stays, hell yeah, we'll be at 100% in a couple hours and then maybe I'll roast some more coffee. Something. Got and that power. start the yogurt. Yes. I need to make some yogurt. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to tell people that we've been. We've been what? Well, look, we have no generator. We're just totally. Oh, uh, yeah. So we're the generator. We're off grid, like really off grid. Exactly. We're like super off grid. We're all electric, basically, because <laughs> we uh, 
aren't allowed to move the boat unless we ask for permission. So we haven't run the diesel engines in a couple weeks and no generator. So we've been totally off the grid, just living off solar and lithium. And I feel like we really set ourselves up well when we left Florida, 1600 watts of solar, 1200 amp hours of lithium battery. We made a video all about that. I'll link to that in the description. It's been enough because we haven't been editing hardcore and my big Alienware computer died right. and it was like a super sucker of power. And now we have this like Asus that uses like a quarter of the power, but it's also like half the size physically. You know, <laughs> Makes give and take, yeah. Yeah, so we're totally off the grid, living off rainwater, living off solar. Everything we use is all solar powered. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Is it powered by the solar though, or is Sun it powered by the lake? Well, that's always the thing. Like you could say it's a solar powered air conditioner, but it's technically. technically battery powered, recharged by the sun. There you go. Banana. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pineapple. <laughs> Coconut cube. Ginger. Cinnamon. Dash of cacao. Water. One more cocoa. Sorbet. I don't like them drinkable. I like them scoopable. Oh. <laughs> Look at that ridiculous. Scoop it like ice cream. Mm -hmm. We need the on camera taste test. Oh. Of course it's good. We need a third party taste test. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. Very good. It's the cinnamon and ginger then. They make it. It's weather time, sort of like mail time. Mail time used to be like the thing when I was growing up, every single day I'd go check the mailbox because I don't know, somebody might have sent you something exciting like a letter or a card or whatever. But now it's weather. It's a daily weather check and regular everyday life for most people. You might check the weather because you wanna know what to wear. Is it gonna rain? Do I need to bring an umbrella? That kind of stuff. But on a boat, it becomes very like pertinent to the day to do we stay anchored here? Is the wind gonna shift? Am I gonna, do I need to prepare for a storm? Am I in a good spot? There's just so many considerations. And when you get out of the groove of doing it, you kind of, it can be easy to forget to check. And it's really important to check pretty much every single day, depending on the weather, you might check twice a day. So I check the weather, check the tides. I get like a big global perspective. So I zoom out really far so that I can see all of New Zealand, Fiji and parts of Asia. Is there any sort of cyclone that could be kicking up because also it's cyclone season. So I'm looking for all sorts of things just trying to make sure that we're good. We don't need to prepare for anything. And also just getting back in the in the groove of it. Okay. Back to work. Jason. Yeah? Do you want to come show them the, the railing? Okay. One thing I'd kind of forgotten about, we, oh, there's been so many things that we've discovered that broke or went wrong while we were gone. And one of them is, well, this plate that holds in our, it's the pulpit. Well, there's the pulpit and the push, push pit, pit. Oh, you know, you know, fancy sailing name. And this holds this in, but it is cracked on both sides. So, you know, you're kind of like, well, maybe don't lean on that too hard. I mean, there's still a lot of points holding this in. This is definitely a really important one. And we can't get this part here. And we could just have somebody potentially weld it, but there's no welder on the island. So, you know, it's just one of those extra things you just aren't going to get fixed and this remote island or you're gonna have to get really creative and we'll maybe put some extra sealant or silicone or steel stick or something. steel stick yeah yeah, pro yeah there you go yeah. steel stick is not definitely silicone. yeah not silicone i thought right after i said that I was like yeah, that's not a good choice you have to tap into like your inner macgyver to live on a boat that's what i feel like okay anyway sorry 
Back at it, back at it. Oh man. Rain. Yeah. Oh, that's all right. It's okay. It's gonna pass. Big one right, right over there. us. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Ah, get them fishies. See them in there. Hunting. All day. Woo. Feels like the rain's coming. It is. Should we shut all the windows? Yep. Yeah. That's a two-handed job, okay. Well, it does not look like the rain is gonna let up for now, so I am going to cut up these coconuts. That's all they plan. Okay. Come a long way since that key in the Bahamas that we visited. And Cut open our first coconut. Got a lot more practice. Learned a few tricks. Yeah. Still not simple. Not a big steak. <sighs> but it only takes me about 10 minutes instead of an hour. <laughs> Put on your safety goggles. Yeah. <laughs> Duh. Now I need a, a knife. Sorry, uh. I forgot to adjust <laughs> you, you can use the tip of the. A machete. Okay. I mean, it's an oversized tool for the job, but come on now. Okay, there we go. Now I got a hole. And... Perfect. This is what the Islanders called an old nut. And it's not necessarily best for drinking the coconut water, but you do mix the coconut water with the inside flesh, and that's how we make coconut milk or coconut cream. That's what old nuts are good for. Making cream. Nope, no. <laughs> that is not a straight line. What are you doing? It's not supposed to be a straight line. That way it's easier to pull out the flesh. So it's broken into little puzzle pieces. See? That's the way I did it last time and you liked it. <laughs> <laughs> Clean up me, clean up the deck. Can't clean too much. We're getting water. Finish this job up later. I got some sun. Yeah. Go take advantage while we got it. Okay, go! <gasps> <laughs> uh, 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 that feels good. Yeah, it does. Wash that steak off. Yeah. Practice a couple of breath holds. At least I think. Might be a little dark and creepy down there. But Back in the groove. That's right. Give it a go. I tried moving on. Forgetting you, but it's hard to replace when it's a part of you And nothing ever compares to you and me Oh, I think about you every night Tell me, what am I supposed to do? Cause I feel like nothing without you
we're out just in time for more rain. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely rainy season. cream for our curry that I'm gonna make and we're gonna use the extra coconut in the rice. I think do the whole thing? Sure. Look at all that coconut creamy goodness. Nice and heat. Just the right amount. Well, I believe the sun just set because you can hear the cicadas. It's one of my favorite times of night because normally the colors are really nice right behind me. The cicadas are starting to pick up their audio and the sun's gone down so it is very nice and cool and it gets breezy right about now. So this is like the mwah, perfect, perfect time of day here in Tonga. Except this time you can't tell the sunset because of all the rain clouds. Still feels good, still sounds the same, just uh, doesn't look the same. <laughs> I getting stuff done, especially things that take forever. Oh, are you really done? I'm really done with 2020. 2018, 2019, 2020. Oh, I mean, we've organized. Today we've just shot five, six, seven different cards. So you just add so to the... Let's just start it back up again, get out the new hard drive. I got some blanks here. <laughs> Go to town. Dinner is pretty much ready. Oh, I don't have a beverage. No, I will fix that straight away. And I just want to log a formal complaint, the fact that I don't already have one. That's <laughs> jeez. Yeah. Rain, rain, go away. Or fill up our buckets. Yeah, I was like, what? Don't wish it away now. It can rain all night if it wants to. Yay! What do we have? Oh, okay. So this is, uh, curry. <laughs> I'm all, oh, what did I make? My hair is tickling me and it's distracting me. Okay, um, pumpkin, bell peppers, onion, garlic, coconut milk. Yeah. Yeah, it's a curry. It's a curry. Okay, bon appetit. Bon appetit. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm, right? That's got some cake. Like... That's creamy. That's, man, the rice is good with the coconut. Mm hmm. Mm. That's my favorite. I would say. 10 out of 10. Yeah. Yeah. No, I wasn't going to say that. But <laughs> but I will say that. I'll agree with that. What I was going to say was this felt like a typical day as far as like if we're not on an adventure or sitting yeah. behind the computer editing all day. Yeah, I would agree. In terms of a normal average day, it's pretty banging. Yeah. Thank you very much for joining us. On this day. On this very normal <laughs> almost, average. Very sort of not really almost normal, constantly changing. Fairly boring, <laughs> probably, day. But that's that's full life. We have lots of these. Lots of these. Mo more of these than the other days. Yeah. But anyway. Thanks for joining us, guys. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Bye. If you want to know about anything, let us know in the comments. Anything you saw? Got any questions? Down there is a good spot. Down there. Down there. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Just gonna eat my mm -hmm. then shut up. <laughs> oh, should we see what we have in there? Sure. What's in there? Looks like we have something. <laughs> what? <laughs> the files are in the computer. <laughs>
too early. Get away from me. <laughs> Deep and fly. We won't listen to this morning. I'm gonna do science. Okay. If it's gonna work. Internet Wi-Fi. You never know. Internet Wi-Fi? <laughs> Island internet. You never know. Again, too early. Lefty Lucy. Stuck in my beard. Mm-hmm. Just a little bit. It's so back. cold. Oh, that's a mustache, not a beard. Thank you. <laughs> you got papaya all over your shirt. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Can we make some mess? Ooh, one more shirt. Huh, nobody wants to see me with my shirt off right now. <laughs> Still farmer's tan and... Uh... Farmer's tan, no working out. I'm gonna paint on that six pack. <laughs> Dead man? I'll do the dead man flow. You do the live lady. <laughs> oh my god, what are you doing? I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 ah, <laughs> editing nightmare. Woo, woo, woo. Patience. Yeah. Patience. Sorry. Tranquilo. Get angry. Or get it angry. Came out of top a little bit. It's a joke in there somewhere. Yep. Kind of want to go back to sleep. I know. Do you really? Why well, is that? I got. I mean, I got up at six because it was so dang bright, and I was like, oh, I don't want to get up. The alarm hasn't gone off. But it was so bright. It was so bright. So I just said, screw it. <laughs> uh. I'm up.